Hey guys. All right. Here's another Power BI uh, how to or instructional video that I'm making. On this one, I'm going to show you how to create a tooltip page. Uh, tooltips can be useful if you want to supply additional information without adding more visual confusion into um, a, a report page that you already have. In this case, I want it so that when I mouse over the sales price information for a manufacturer, it's going to display what days of the week these sales are occurring on. Okay, so to do this, first we're going to start by creating a new page. Click down here on our new page. And then we can set some, uh, pro some properties for the entire page. You can set things like canvas size um, and how we're going to use this. In this case, we're going to select this allow to use as tooltips. This will allow us to use this page that we create to be used as a tooltip in other uh, visualizations that we have integrated in our other uh, Power BI report pages. Let's name it something better. Sales. Week. There we go. Now, when we select that we're going to use this page as a tooltip, you'll notice that this is teeny weeny. That's okay. It's set to a, a size of 320 pixels by 240 pixels. For me, that's going to work okay. But if you do want to change it, you can always select custom and change it to a different, different height or width, different specifications, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave mine as tooltip because I'm fine with it being tiny. Um, but that's where you would change those parameters. Okay, like I said, we wanted to display the sales that we have by the day of week. So we've got a day of week name here. Let's create a new visualization, actually. Let's go here. Okay, we're going to select our day of week name, and I want that to be on the y-axis. Here. And then I want to do a count of the number of units sold. For that, we're just going to use these, this ID here. All right, so we got some basics here. We can stretch this guy out a little bit so we can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and then the number of units that we sold. If you want to dress it up a little bit or change any of the names, go ahead and do that now. Instead of having this Thing. Let's just call it day of week. I'm doing this by just double clicking on our axes. You guys should be used to that by now. Uh, number, let's call this number of units. Okay. And look cooler if we had some different colors on here. So let's go here to our colors. Monday's fine. We'll leave that there. We can just pick and choose whatever colors we want. Just to make it a little more vivid. Give it a little, a little more interesting look and feel to it. Maybe we'll do this one. That color. And Saturday, that color. All right, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we have this all set. Now we're going to go back to the visual or back to the page where we want to associate this tooltip on. For that, I was working in my manufacturing analytics. And I think I want to embed it here on the sales price information. So with that, I'm going to click on the format painter. And then click on the general tab. And down here, we can turn our tooltips on. Once we do that, I believe it's going to come in as default. We're going to change this to report page. And then we're going to select this page that we just created, sales by day of week. OK, we got that all set. Now let's test it. So when I hover over one of these bars, it should display the days of the week. There we go. It displays the days of the week that all the different sales have been made on. 
cool. So that's how you create a tooltip page and embed that into your other visualizations. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.